My series on this sort of POC radio is well underway now and my reason for doing these videos is that nobody else is, meaning there's no tutorials or info for people interested to go to. So I hope these videos are giving you an insight into the world of POC and platforms such as Real PTT and Global PTT. In the shack today is this POC radio in the form of the G3 from Global PTT. This is a 4G Linux based device with a form factor of a more traditional two way radio. This works on the global PTT platform and enables clear communication between other devices on your network or a specific group with very low latency. I'll come to the global PTT side of things in a short while. So on the front keypad we have a small screen which is fine as there's no touch screen. Just below is a keypad with a menu and OK button, a back and lock button, a group quick select button, and a user quick select button. The last two allow you to quickly access and change groups and make private calls to users on the network. Below the keypad is a speaker and microphone behind a grill and at the top of the front face is an LED indicator. On the left side is the GPS info button, the PTT or push to talk and again group and individual member select buttons. On the right side is a speaker mic port, underneath is a USB-C charger port with LED charge indicator. And on the top is the volume and on off knob as well as an SMA connector for the 4G antenna. Underneath the battery are two SIM card slots for dual SIM operation and the battery just clips into place on the back. A belt clip is supplied which screws onto the back along with a USB charger and plug. So looking at the menus, there's group select where you can view and change to other groups you've set up in global PTT. Member select allows you to make private calls to other members on the network. Location info gives you your GPS coordinates. Then we come to local settings. Here you can set various beep tones, how long before the backlight times out or the keypad locks, your network mode which I just keep in auto, you can perform a system reset, upgrade the firmware over wireless, set your mic gain level, time zone, you can change SIM cards, view but not change the shortcut keys on the side of the radio, platform which is locked to global PTT because that's what's installed in the radio, NR which is AI noise reduction, and finally view the device info which is where you can find your IMEI number. So when you buy this radio it automatically comes with Global PTT installed so to get it going you just insert your SIM card and follow the setup which I'm about to show you. When you've set up your Global PTT platform on the website you simply turn the radio on and it'll automatically join the network, it's that simple. So here's a global PTT setup tutorial I made as part of another video which should clear everything up. You'll be supplied with a login and when you log in you'll be met with this dashboard. The first thing to do is set up your profile by adding your name, phone number and country. PTT cards and GPS cards are basically the amount of allowed devices you can add to your platform. I already have 5 devices added so the 5 in the box tells me I can add 5 more. I have a GPS card available too which will allow GPS positioning data to be sent and received by compatible devices. The next thing to do is create your company. This is the name your groups and users will be associated with when they're added to the platform. The next step is to create a group. These radios can access groups and make radio to radio calls. The group function allows you to divide handsets into different categories or teams if you only want certain communications to reach certain people. And finally you can add your devices or users. You can select your company and the group you want a particular user to be added to, name the device and import your account file which Global PTT provides. 
Then you simply add the IMEI number which can be found inside each device. Then you enable or disable GPS and finally submit and it's as simple as that. When you next turn your device on it'll automatically be on the Global PTT platform. Global PTT will run on Android, Windows and certain POC devices. Before I wrap up let's run over some pros and cons of devices like this. The pros are that they enable extremely long range comms over different continents if you like. They transmit really clear audio with low latency levels if your network connection is good. They're easy to use and require very little setup as you can see and they enable group and individual calls like a digital radio system would. As for the cons, well they don't work on Wi-Fi so you have to use a SIM card but you can get those very cheaply nowadays. I show you the SIM options Global PTT does in a video in the description below and finally these devices are only ever as good as the mobile infrastructure they're being supported by but of course you can say that about a conventional mobile phone. This is a received audio test on the Global PTT G3 testing 12345-54321 and this is sense audio test from the Global PTT G3 12345-54321 so that's the G3 from Global PTT. If you'd like to find out more, then there's lots of info in the description below.